Hi, welcome back. It is a beautiful day today in zone 6B in Massachusetts. It's actually like such a gift to have a day like this in the middle of the winter. It's February and this isn't typical. So it gives us some false hope that spring is on its way. Um, but today I'm just gonna do some random things around the yard. I'm just excited to be able to get outside and do some things and so I'll take you along. I came to Home Depot for some fertilizer and they have some of their summer bulbs out. That white caladium is really pretty, but I have more sun than shade, so I'll have to hold out on those. What's pretty lilies and some dahlias. I really like this one. Looks kind of cool with the stripes. Here's what I look for when I'm trying to find which pack I'm gonna buy. First, I kind of pick up a few packs and go by weight. If they're really dehydrated, the package is going to be a lot lighter. So this one feels pretty heavy, but when I took a look at the side, I saw a little bit of mold in there. It's hard to tell in the video. But in any case, um, you wanna look for the best package in terms of volume and um, what it looks like. You wanna make sure that it looks like it's not shriveled or that there are any signs of mold. So here's what we're getting. I already have one of these in my garden, but I wanted some more because it's so pretty. So this is a seven pack um, of the Lily Salmon Star. Dahlia Bristol Stripe. There's Dahlia Jacondo. A Raspberry Ann. And these looked really cool, so I want to give them a shot. There's only two bulbs in this pack, but before I decide to get more, I'm going to try them. And if I like them, then I'll order some bulbs um, for the fall and some plant tone. This raspberry ann that I just picked up, I'm gonna get it planted today um, in a container. So it looks like you remove it from the packaging and you let it soak for a little while. So let's do that. It actually feels like it's moist, which is a good sign. I'm just going to put a little water in it. I'm going to let it soak in this bucket for a little while and then I'll get back to it and plant it up. I said I was going to put a little bit of water but I actually just put all the water that was in this container into this bucket and the goal is just to wash off any of the soil that came in the packaging material just in case it had any disease or anything in it and to get these roots going with some water. You want to get these nice and soaked before you plant them. I had this really cute birdhouse that the weather's nice today and I wanted to get it put up on the trees. Every year we put a new one up so we have quite a few already. But then I noticed that this one, the bottom had fallen out of it and do you think you could fix it for me? <laughs> Let me see. Yeah it's made out of like particle board. I can probably make a new one out of wood. Okay, Just give cool. me a second. Yeah we can repair it that'd be awesome. These gorilla carts are really handy for gardening and for woodworking, right? Yeah, and for birdhouse building. <laughs> Look how much stuff we need just to fix a birdhouse. I know, that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's why these projects like, oh, it's only going to take five minutes. But it's better that we're going to repair it instead of taking it down yeah, and so starting over. You see? Nice. Put a little bit of adhesive. This is like liquid nails, basically. Even like uh, wood glue would probably work. And then we're gonna I'm put gonna it up. Nail it, so yeah. This is just extra. That's good. Yeah. 
This is one of the birdhouses. This one looks like the little outhouse. It's uh, cedar and they like it because it's hidden on this uh, behind this branch and they get to perch up on these branches. I've actually seen them up there before. This is the little beach house, uh, the Cape Beach House, I call it, and it's really cute. We've actually already repaired this one once. It's been up here for a few years, but it looks like it's kind of sliding off of the tree. So George is going to try to secure it a little bit better because in the spring is when all the birds go and start making their homes. And so I like to have these out for them. It brings a lot of birds. We have a lot of blue jays and cardinals, believe it or not. We actually get quite a few cardinals in the yard, which is really fun. Our daffodils are starting to peek through the soil and last year when I planted them I put bulb tone in the hole with the bulbs but this year I haven't fed them yet and I want them to be happy and give me nice blooms so I'm going to give a little bit of plant tone. I'm just going to top dress it. Top dressing is just laying the fertilizer on top. So when it rains they'll get a little bit of food. Hey SpongeBob, what are you making? Hamburgers? What do you think? <laughs> Krabby Patties? Yeah, Krabby Patties. We're getting so lucky with this weather today, huh? It looks like I know what I'm doing, but I really don't. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. That's right. We've had this and raspberry soaking for a couple of hours. We had lunch and now I'm gonna go ahead and plant it. So this container where I'm gonna plant it, it's still frozen. If you see here, it's it's definitely like a rock. But I added a new layer on top, so I'm just gonna plant this in this top layer of soil that I actually can work on. Uh, I'm going to throw in some of this Biotone Startup Fertilizer. I'm not going to put too much, just a little. Now I'm going to center it and just plant it in. These are pretty cold hardy, so I can plant it out now even though it's February. Um, it's better than it sitting inside and potentially drying out. I have one other gold raspberry, so this one's called Anne that I just bought, and I have another one called Fall Gold, but it was new last year, so these take a year or two from bare root to um, give you fruit, but the gold ones are supposed to be really delicious, so I'm looking forward to it. Back in late fall, I planted a bunch, a border here of a bunch of tulips, and I had sprinkled some blood meal and some shredded up Irish spring soaps to keep critters away from my um, bulbs. Well, look at this that I just found right here. A half eaten bulb. And this is probably like the second or third one that I found like this. Such nice root development too. So frustrating. This is part of the reason I don't plant tulips is I always have such a hard time keeping the bunnies, the deer, and clearly something else away from them too. Um, so I'm going to put another layer of blood meal over here and hope that I'll still get some blooms. This is near my shed and I have a bunch more tulips planted here. I found another bulb that was chewed up. So I'm going to take this blood meal and I'm going to sprinkle it on the soil. And I'm hoping this will keep them at bay a little longer, keep the critters away. We're going to go in the shed and give some plants some water. These are the things that I overwinter here in the shed. Last year we ordered quite a few Japanese maples. A few of them were a little too small to plant out in the landscape. So we potted them up and kind of watched them and we're overwintering them here in the shed in this sunny window. And I put an alarm on my phone to come in here maybe once a month and just kind of keep an eye on the soil and water them if they need a little water. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Home run! This tree's leaning a little, so we're gonna stake it. Earlier today, I bought these lily, the seven star lilies, and I'm gonna plant them over here in this area around where I keep my bird bath. I'm going to um, spill the bulbs in this pot here, just to check them out and see what they look like before I plant them. And they look pretty good, nice and healthy. And so far, that's four of them. There should be seven in this package. So 
five. And they're all here. And they all look pretty good. So I planted the seven bulbs for the lilies along the back of this stone behind where my bird bath will be. And the ground is still pretty frozen, so I'm gonna have to build up the soil. So I dropped them in here and I don't have any bulb tone, but I put a little bit of plant tone and some bone meal. Bone meal is really good for bulbs also. And to uh, plant them in, I'm gonna use a mix of black cow compost with vermiculite. The, the ground is very wet over here, so the vermiculite will help with aerating the soil. In this spot here, I'm going to plant these two Peruvian daffodils that I got earlier today. Um, I only bought two because I want to see what they look like. And if I like them, then in, the, um, in a couple months, I'll order some for the fall. We've spent a beautiful day outside. Um, it's been almost 60 degrees today and tomorrow we're back in the 20s with the chance of snow showers. So I was just happy to be able to get out here and get a jump start on spring. We did a bunch of random things, you know, planted some things, did some cleaning, put up some birdhouses. But honestly, the vitamin D did me some good and I'm just so happy to have spent this time outside. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. And this was the next morning. Sniffing that, Rocco?